reactive forms are very flexible in angular application and you can make the changes as per your need so over here we will talk about the nested form group here we are using only one form group in this form but now i will use one more nested form group and let's see what is the requirement so over here on this browser we are having this reactive form page and everything is working fine but here in this price section i want to add one more drop down and the first drop down would be for the currency and the second one would be for this price let's understand how to do that if i go to the book model that we were using earlier here in this add book form the old one we were using this book model now in this book model if you will notice that this price is again a kind of object and there are two properties over here this is currency and this is the value now let's say i want to set both of them in the reactive form then how can i do that first let's update the design of this page so let's go to this html and we are using that price section at this place cool now let's copy it and just paste again and let's close everything inside a div like this let's see what we have on the browser on the browser this time you will see we are having two drop downs so let's update it so this one is first and this one is second and here let's use the currency and this one is for the price let's update all these things i'm, I'm writing currency we are getting these prices from this ts file in the same manner let's create one more for the currency let's say for the currency here i'm writing usd and here i'm writing us dollar and here let's use the inr here i'm writing indian rupee and let's only use two properties here i'm writing currencies we can use this new array for the currencies drop down over here this one we can update this price to the currency so let's copy this name from this place like this let's see what we have on the browser on the browser this time you will see we are having two drop down this is the first one this is for the currency and this is the second one this is for the actual money and this time we don't need to display these dollar symbols so we can remove it because we are choosing this currency from the another drop down like this we can update this design also so here let's add one more class and here i'm writing price container let's just copy this name here let's write this css here i'm writing display flex flex direction it is row and space between this time you will see we are having two proper drop downs this one is for currency and this one is for the price so because we are dealing with these two properties now for the price so we have to create a nested form group let's see how to do that so over here we are initializing our form and we have to make the changes in this price so this time instead of using this form control we have to use again the form group and it is totally possible to use a nested form group in the angular application okay and in the constructor of this form group we have to again provide some form controls so first is the currency and this is again a form control like this and the second is the value new form control that's it now we have to bind these things to the html form this time you will notice that this price is now a form group earlier it was a form control but now it is a form group and inside this form group we are having two more properties this one is a form control and this one is also a form control over here in the container of these two fields we have to use form group name and we have to define that name the name this time is this price and now we are having the form control and if we talk about the form control name now 
now we have access to this currency and value so for the first one i will write the currency and for the second one i will use this value so what do we have now we are having this entire form this is the form group that we are using there are so many components that we have written inside this form we are using the form control name for these components or the fields but we are having one nested form over here and for this nested form we are using this form group name and whatever properties we have defined now we can access them directly because we are inside this form group name so here in this form control name there is no need to define price dot currency you can directly use the currency just save the changes and go back to the browser this time you will see over here at the bottom side in the price we are having an object this is the currency null and this is the value that is null let's choose the currency immediately you will see we are having the usd value here in the currency if i use the indian rupee you will see we are having the inr if i choose this price here you will see we are having this value this is the main purpose of using the nested form group and how will you identify whether you need to create a nested form group or not you can do that easily based on your object structure if you are having an model and there are only plain properties then there is no need for the nested form group but if there is any further complex type inside your model then for that particular complex type you can create one nested form group let's save this form and verify the changes and as of now we are having so many books so let's remove some of them because we need to scroll so much to view the details and here we are in the services section this is the book service and let's remove some of them so i will keep only two go back to the browser let's go to the old books page here you will see we are having only two books and these are sufficient click on this one reactive form add the data book from reactive this is the author let's say it is me number of pages it is 200 choose the currency usd price is let's say 200 choose a date 23 is published save button here it is go to the old books you will see we are having three books over here and this time you will see that this price is working fine now let's add one more book number of pages let's say this time it is 200 and let's use this indian rupees click on the save button go to the old books page you will see we are having one more book and this time we are having this 300 inr and here you will see that everything is working fine and this is how we have fixed this price error that we were getting earlier in the previous video